Good morning, YouTube. It's Sam with Michelson Yachts, and I got uh, Tavo and Tucana sitting behind me, and we are about to leave San Diego. It's about six in the morning, and we're gonna head up to Marina del Rey today, and we're gonna take you guys with us, and we're gonna show you all the new electronics and cool stuff we did on this 2011 Michelson 57. Come along with us. All right, YouTube, while we're still going slow, I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the new startups on the garments. Pretty sweet, right? Michaelson 57. YouTube, so I wanted to walk you through a couple of the really cool features that we've added to this Michaelson 57. The first of which being this FLIR camera with a remote control joystick for it. So I can pan with the camera, or excuse me, with the remote, and it'll steer the camera. So this camera, this FLIR camera is really cool. It has three different modes. So user one, I can just drive with it, like a normal joystick. User two stabilizes it. So if I'm out in rough seas, I hold user two down and it'll stabilize my camera. And then it makes it kind of harder to drag on it. Let me zoom it out a little so you can see my hand moving too. So user two makes it more stable. And then user three, if I click that, it goes into surveillance mode. In surveillance mode, we'll just pan back and forth 180 degrees. Another really cool option, if I go back to user one on here, is I can click, there's two little buttons on top. I can click, oh, which one is it? Oh no, it's camera, click camera. And then when I click camera, this little thing in the far right pops up. And then I can twist the joystick like this and it'll actually zoom in 30 times. Isn't that crazy? I'm only at 10% right there. And look how good the picture is still. And that is way, way, way over there. Can't even see it. So this FLIR camera is a really cool option that was added. Zooming back out. Another really cool option that was added Actually, let me turn this into autopilot. I'll be right back. So I don't know if you guys remember what this dash looked like before, but the displays were way smaller. So we had to go in, we had to re-fiberglass and gel coat these because I didn't want to put bevels around them because I wanted them to look really nice. But another really nice feature, turn on autopilot. Charts. So will you come drive? is this Sirius XM weather forecasting. So I can look at the weather forecast, sea condition, temperature, or my favorite is this fish mapping right here. So this fish mapping, you see all these little red circles over here? It's showing me, all right, tuna. So those are my different species that I have right there. These are the different zones via satellite where it thinks that they've been catching all the different tuna. So same exact thing if I go back and I click on forecast, it'll give me different pressure readings around here. And then I, oh, I can go back and I can go into sea conditions and it'll give me all the different sea conditions. So I can zoom in a little bit on here. You can see I'm heading out of San Diego Bay. So it's telling me the direction of the swell, how big it is, and then how windy it is. And then I can also click through 12 hours ahead, 24 hours ahead, 36 hours ahead. I can go all the way up to two weeks ahead and it'll show me the weather forecasts on here. So another really cool option. We also did, we 
added a new transducer to this boat, which is really nice. Um, got a really nice just chart display, got a new radar. I'll show you guys the sonar. So really nice, clean sonar. And then I can go back over here, I can click on video. And then I can go for my FLIR camera, which was showing me day. Go up to here to source. And then I can change it to like my, well, I can change it to the night mode of the FLIR camera. So the infrared version. So that's the night, the night vision camera where I go here and I click cockpit cam two. Shows me the cockpit. Engine room aft. Engine room forward and then the tower for when you're backing down on a fish or docking from the forward station you can see what's behind you what else is cool on here oh I can go back and let me go down and I'll turn on the direct TV and I'll show you guys how the TV works I'm taking you guys with me downstairs real quick but we added new fusion speakers up here I love these guys, a little toucan for Takana. Oh, all new carpet up here. So if you guys watched watched our last video, carpet looks really, really nice. All new carpet on the inside as well. I'll move my tools. Turn the KVH dome on for satellite TV. Another thing that we added over here is a Fusion Apollo. So this had some crazy Sony system in it where you couldn't listen to like music inside and outside at the same time. So we got rid of that. Fusion does it all. So I'll go over here. I'm gonna select Direct TV, which it's already on. My KVH is getting fired up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my direct TV boxes on and we'll head back upstairs. Back up on the flybridge again, we're staring at the tower video. If I click source again and then I go down to direct TV, it'll hop me over. It takes just a sec. And there's my direct TV. And then, very cool, I can click the power button one time. Oh, it's because I didn't turn it on yet. We'll go to media. There it is. Turns out our kids, though, were at the wheel. Show stoppers. So I can turn up the volume and the screen should pop right back up. There it is. There it is. So very cool. And then I can watch the Kardashians on here. Watch the Kardashians on my way over to Catalina. Very cool. So that was the cool thing about this media is I can just click source and then it pops up all my different sources. So then if I want to listen to AM, FM radio, Sirius, Bluetooth, anything like that, I can do it all from here. So it's very nice. And you can access that. So again, it takes a minute for the direct TV to pop up, but you can access that just by holding this down for a sec. And then going over and clicking media. This is kind of like a little shortcut right here. This is also how you adjust the backlight and the color and all that. Or if I go back to home and then I go to media right here, right next to my video, it'll bring me back here as well. So really cool. We can go through. Oh, another thing that we added on here that I forgot. Uh, so these smart crafts were in great condition and it's expensive to put new ones of those in. So Garmin does this really cool thing and you can add a Mercury smart craft to your engines and then you get all your engine data on here as well. Very cool fuel. Sorry not to tell me, I have 1147 gallons remaining, giving me my fuel flow, the fuel that I've used, my range, my GPS speed, all that kind of stuff. So really, really cool. And uh, we got a tugboat. 
taking some freighter in. There's the point. We're going to go around this guy, pick up our speed a little bit, and we'll be in Marina Del Rey before you know it. Another cool feature on the Garmin's that I forgot to show you, the radar, single range. We can start transmitting it. You can go to options in here, and you can go to gain. And then you have the bird right here. So if you're out fishing and you're looking for birds on the water, auto bird. It picks up the game to help you find birds out on the top water. Just put it back to auto low. Pretty cool. You can adjust the game manually. Obviously right here. Great radar. And then I want to take you back to AIS points right here. Oh, that's another really cool thing on the clear camera. Oh. So we'll go back over to the FLIR. The FLIR, you can go in here and you can do target tracking and you can do compass lock so it'll hold you on a compass heading, vessel lock. So if you see a boat that's out like right there and you're already pointed on it, it'll hold it. Or you can do AIS list and it'll pop up your AIS and then you can click on any of the boats and it'll track the boat. But Tava wanted me to show you guys. Oh, and you can just manually drag your finger on this guy to move it as well. I think I'm still zoomed in super far. Adjust the autopilot or anything. Very easy. 
Got a great trip up so far. Running uh, 18.6. Doing great. Captain Tavo. Life is good. Alright, turn one. Coming up. Kids summer camp. Having fun out here, learning to sail. What a nice trip up. We had the uh, boat ran great, new electronics are super cool. We're gonna hit the dock and uh, give you guys a send off and thanks for watching. All right, one last thing for those of you that have these Garmin displays. So see this black thing at the top right here where it was giving me like, my like time and distance to destination and all that. That'll stay on the screen, which is totally fine. Or you go to options, navigation options, stop navigation, and it will go away. Save this active route. You could save it if you want. We're not gonna save it because it's not our boat. And that's how you do that. Thank you for watching YouTube. Hope this uh, little Garmin tutorial talks you into one, buying Garmin products. I, I really like the Garmin stuff, super happy with them. And two, if you already have them, hope it uh, hope it helps you kind of figure them out a little bit more. And uh, yeah, Marina Del Rey, San Diego Marina Del Rey, six hours, awesome ride, good times, cool Michelson 57. We'll get you guys on the next video. I'm gonna be posting some walkthroughs on that 72 that we haven't done yet, so I'll get those up. Thanks for watching, guys.